Space Junk is the third minigame madness game. It's a simple one-button action game inspired by Atari's 1973 game Space Race. The goal is to score points by making it to the top of the screen without touching any of the debris. If you do, your points will reset themselves. There's one button, Thrust, which you hold down to accelerate and you let go to fall back a little bit. It's mapped to the space bar, up arrow, and joystick button. All of the sound for the game I created using Creative Commons assets that I've found around online. The pixel art, however, is hand-drawn by myself and Esprite. As you can see, if you do get hit, uh, it resets your score, so the game is a bit of a difficult one. Uh, because it's really, the score is a count of, of the streak you have. How many times you've made it to the top in a row without, you know, hitting anything. And it's not easy, uh, particularly with the way the controls work. But it is, you know, it's challenging, but I find it fun. Um, really, the challenge in this one is just kind of juggling the one button to propel yourself far enough, fast enough, without dropping down and, you know, hitting the things below you when they get too close. It is, uh, it's not impossible, though. It's just, you know, tricky. And the more you play, the, the easier it gets. Um, Space Junk was inspired by the Kessler Syndrome, which is a real-world uh, thing in, in theoretical astronomy that they came up with in the 1970s. Uh, Dr. Kessler did. And it's basically saying that, you know, the amount of stuff we have in orbit is just going to increase. We're not really getting rid of any of the space junk from forgotten satellites or anything dumped out by the astronauts. It just stays there in orbit. So as this debris field grows, it becomes an increasing problem. Uh, because if you hit something, it'll just shatter into smaller pieces and you'll have this sort of cascading effect where it'll become almost impossible to get anything out of Earth orbit without serious damage. Even from, you know, microparticles can cause serious problems in, in space as well. So if I were to continue this game and, and continue developing it, what I would do, I think, is I would make a game that's sort of like a cross between this and Asteroids, where if you, you know, if there's a collision, oops, oh man, if there's a collision either between your ship and the junk, or, you know, the junk and other space debris, or, you know, if you shoot it, you know, they'll split apart into smaller pieces, uh, with the exception that the smallest pieces don't just disappear. They're still there. You know, maybe they're only a pixel big, but they can still cause damage to your ship. So I think, you know, that would be an interesting game that whose mechanics more correctly reflect uh, the Kessler Syndrome. Anyway, if you want to check out the other mini games I've been working on and my longer term projects, you can see details and dev notes and everything over at my Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash Tauscordian. I'll, I'll put a link down in the notes. And the notes themselves are generally free for, you know, everybody to read, but I would appreciate any support you can offer to help me and my continuing game development assets, particularly with the longer projects I have, because those do have, you know, not an, a not insignificant overhead to their, uh, their creation. So thank you, and I hope you enjoy the game. Try it out. I'll put a link down to where you can play it on the web. And have a great day.